Hello and welcome to another Primavera P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can add new database to your current database. You know that uh, maybe due to some uh, problem, you need to separate your project in your database and you need to log in by Primavera P6 with more than one database. So what's the solution? The solution is when you run the Primavera P6 database on the login page, you have database tab. As you see, I have P6 Professional dash one database over here. But if I want to add the new one, I can press the add. Then this dialog box appear, and you need to. According to your database type, your current database type, you need to add new database. Right now, I install a SQLite database, so I can select the SQLite for the new one. Then press the next. Over here, you need to add a new connection to add an existing standalone database or add a new standalone database and connection. I like to add the new database. You need to complete this dialog box information. Login name, password, and over here you can select the file destination for your database saving. Let me to save the database sample one in the desktop. Then, if you select the load sample data, then the Primavera P6 sample data will be loaded to your database. If you deselect it, you only create the empty database. Let me to select the load sample data and then press the next. My connection successfully created and I can press the finish. Right now, I have to database. If I go to the login page, then I can connect with this item. Because this database is the new one, you should select the appropriate industry for this in the admin preferences menu as you see my new database created i only have sample data and information from Oracle. no further project is available over here so if i want to close this database and open the current database. I should open the Primavera P6. Over here on the tab, I can switch on previous database and login. I recommend you to assign the different password in order to assure that you connect to the current correct database. As you see, I'm connected to the, my current database and if I collapse the information, you can find the different EPS based on my work. These are the other database. So you can connect to the proper database based on your requirement. If I close this, and I run the Primara P6. Over here, you have two databases, and you should select your database based on your requirement. I hope this video is useful for you. 
Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.